Hoş geldiniz. Peynirli gözlemi yapıyorum. Today I am making cheese gözlemi. Gözlemi is a traditional style Turkish pancake. It's rolled out nice and thin and it's packed full with delicious fillings. This time I'm making it with cheese. It's a white cheese, white Turkish cheese, similar in texture to mozzarella and it's so good. So let's get started. So I have my gözlemi board here. I'm going to dust it with a little bit of flour, put it on, spread it out to the sides here, <laughs> and put my rolling pin. Now, I have my gozlame dough. So to make the gozlame dough, it's super simple. I just took some water, some flour, some salt, mixed it together, and then I kneaded it really good for about 5 to 10 minutes. Then I just let it rest, and now it's ready to be rolled out to our delicious gozlame. So, I have my rolling pin, let's get started. I love making gozleme. I think the first time I saw it made, I was out and walking about and I saw this lady with a rolling pin and a board kind of similar to this. And uh, yeah, it was so amazing to watch her roll it out. She was doing it so quickly and I noticed how thin the dough was, so I was intrigued. I walked over, saw she's making gozleme. Then I tried gozleme for the first time, and yeah, once you try it and see it being prepared, <laughs> you're hooked. <laughs> so, all right, so the goal is to get my gozleme nice and thin. So it doesn't have to be extremely thin to the point where it tears, but I do want it to be pretty thin in texture, so that that way it cooks perfectly. So, and I wanna make it, roll it out into a somewhat circle-like form. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, as close as we can get to that. So keep rolling until it's nice and thin. And I love eating gozleme. It's traditionally served at Turkish breakfast, but really you can eat it any time of the day. And it's so good. It's one of those things that's definitely an experience, but there's nothing quite like when you get it homemade. This is so good. <laughs> All right, so now my dough is rolled out nice and thin, as you can see. So, not too thin, but definitely my hand. You can see my hand through the dough. So, let's get started filling it. So I have some cheese that I've shredded. So I'm going to take just a handful, probably about a quarter of a cup of cheese, and place it right in the middle. This would also be the time for you to fill it with the other toppings, like if you wanted to fill it with spinach, or even hay if you had some leftover vegetables that you wanted to pop in there, you could certainly also make your own type of gozleme. Now is the fun part. I'm going to fold it like a little package. So I take one side and fold it over, fold over the other side, then the other, <laughs> and then there we have it. So from here, it would traditionally be placed on a huge dome oven, which is awesome and it's amazing to watch them prepare it this way. But since I don't have a dome oven in my kitchen, I'm just going to go to my kitchen and use a crepe pan and cook it on the stove and it's going to be so good. So let's go to the kitchen. <laughs> Okay, so now that I've rolled up my gozleme and I've stuffed it with the cheese, I have it on my crepe pan. And what I've done is I've oiled my crepe pan just a little bit, with just brushing a little bit of oil. And then right on the top, I brushed my gozleme. Now it's time to cook it up. It's going to get nice and brown on both sides, and it's even going to puff up while it cooks. It's so good and so simple. So let's take it to the stove. Okay, so my gozleme is just about done cooking. Mmm. Oh wow, it puffs up so nicely as you cook it, and as you can see, it's nice and perfectly browned and crisp. Oh my goodness. So I'm just going to plate it up here on my cutting board. And next to it, or served with my gozleme, I have a few slices of cucumber and some tomato. Just something nice and fresh and pretty traditional, I would say. So I'm just going to slice my gozleme to nice triangles here. <laughs> Mmm. And there we have our delicious Turkish Emir Gozlemi. So, looks amazing. I definitely want to give it a try. So I'm just going to dive right in and grab a piece. Mmm. So good. Perfectly crisp and light. 
on the outside, the lightness from rolling out the dough so thin, and nice, the cheese, mmm, perfectly melted. <laughs> so good. You have to give this recipe a try. Deli delicious Turkish gozleme, Turkish pancake filled with cheese and served with a little fresh veggie. So delicious. So, thank you so much for checking out this video on how to make peynirli gozleme or cheese Turkish pancake. I hope that you give this recipe a try and that you love it. And until the next video, I'll see you next time. <laughs> see ya! Beets all done. <laughs> My finale gozleme is done and it looks and smells amazing. I even have some fresh cucumber and fresh tomato slices. So good. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed checking out this video on how I make finale gozleme and I definitely hope that you give it a try in your home kitchen today too. And definitely enjoy. And of course, a feet all sun. Turkish for bon appetit. Enjoy. <laughs> See ya!